All right, we're here with privateer Dave Hommel, Rich Fleischman. Um, they just arrived in Brooklyn. Uh, welcome, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> They've got their PBR. Um, guys, what was the toughest part of this race? I would say the first night. Yeah. Uh, we were going going on a beat, uh, and we found out that our autopilot keyboard had some water in it, and it ended up uh, driving us a few times or, 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 or tacking us a few times. Um, but after that, after we figured it out, things were all good. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the, the leg that the beginning that Dave's speaking about, I mean, the weather was rough, but this is literally the first time we've taken a significant trip in this boat, yep. and the Class 40 design is unbelievable. It's great class, great people. Unbelievable. I mean, the boat just took care of it. Yeah. So we saw our coming great out. Great beer. <laughs> What's that? Hey. Yeah, I never had PBR before. <laughs> um, how much sleep would you guys say you got over the course of like one? Pretty good. Three on, three off. He got more than I did. Yeah. I slept it. I slept it. <laughs> he slept in a few times. I made it up to him though. I broke his head. I cut his head. Yeah, yeah. See? <laughs> yeah, what happened with that cut? How did that happen? Uh, a long story. <laughs> <laughs> we were leaving the in inlet and we, we touched ground. We had, out, yeah, we actually out. touched. Touched some sand. Wow. He got pretty excited. He was coming up on Dragon and he wanted to go above him. Didn't realize he was out of the channel a little bit. And yeah. Bam. Okay. And, my, and I face planted into the bulkhead. Okay. So that was an inauspicious beginning. Yes. From there on, we were okay. There's a picture somewhere with blood running down my face, but that's a whole other thing. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, we had lots of little stuff going on. Well, the weather was pretty crazy the first day and a half or so. Yep. So we saw 35, some people I think 40, 40. Um, but it was just, it was just amazing. The boat was so good. We just went under, we didn't even reef, we just went under a J3. And the boat which, just powered up, powered right through everything. Which North did a great job on the sail. Absolutely. Absolutely wonderful J3. Um, you, you, what speeds did you reach? Uh, that... Top speed, I think, it was 28 knots. No, 28. No, we did. I said 22. I, I, I thought you said 20. No, no. That would be nice. That would be nice. Okay, 22. <laughs> nice. I can't wait for 22. At 28, excuse me. 20, 22. Steve, you are getting to me. I haven't slept. I haven't, <laughs> I've had one meet out of an engine a day. Um, uh, jet burner died, so Dave was cooking on the on the Anwar diesel. Wow. Okay. Yeah. What kind of technical problems did you have? Like some of the teams um, had issues with power, their computer, uh, things we had, like we that. Had, we lost our wind instruments probably the first day. Uh, the feather on top of the thing, so we had no wind angle. We had speed, but we had no wind angle. Um, and the autopilot was a big one. That that was that was uh, that, that was a crisis. We solved it. Um, the jet burner was a minor thing. We had to eat them. Yeah. The jet burner was more of a bummer because that's kind of what brings fun to the whole thing. It's like camp out time and it's time to eat. So I had to do, do the engine cooking. We tore a sail. We tore a sail and I and, and I sewed it. sail. First time was flown, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we figured out that we can't put our A2 up in 20, yeah, 20, yeah, 20 yeah, some knots like of breeze. <laughs> and we had it made. Bad, bad things happen. Yeah. Um, didn't quite work out. One of the things I was going to ask you guys was how much time did you put on all autopilot versus sailing yourselves? So. Uh, it was it was mostly autopilot. Yeah. We, we we do more trimming um, than uh, the, than driving. The the instruments were dialed in pretty well, you know, before we left. Uh, with the autopilot issue, we had to drive more at night. Uh, there, there's a, a moist problem with the keyboard, so but after it dried out, it was fine. So. I mean, when you when you go that route, you can very you, know, you can make very small minor changes, you know, and, and really work with the trim and get the best you can out of it. Yeah. It's like driving a video game. Um, how much time would you say you spent sailing together versus sailing alone? That's each interesting. Time? Probably not a lot. Yeah. Uh, one third of the time. Yeah. One one third of the time, I would say. Yeah. So it was like you know there was part you know. Uh, time card to punch it was like up down up down every three hours yeah, yeah. You know, it was pretty fun. Well, the, well the first night was tough because we were, we were overcoming several issues on, on the boat so there wasn't much time to sleep but but all in all and it was cold the second night was just down by the bitter cold yeah the third night was the third night or the second night? i don't know it's blood today's day four right um, so this is really your first experience sailing in a race with the Class 40. Yes. Um, sure. But you guys have done, you know, tons of racing on yes. other other boats. Um, how would you say this uh, leg 
compares to other races you've done of similar distance? I, I, I would say I never had that oh crap moment on this boat yeah. to where with the carbon boat we we launch it off a wave and we come off of a wave and be like this is gonna hurt. Falls from the sky. Shorter 32 foot boat. And this boat, it just took it no problem, no issues at all. Actually, I've never done a race more than 210 miles. Oh, wow. So this was the first kind of distance on the first part, you know, this boat was for me. Yeah. Cool. So that was that was an interesting because I didn't know what I was gonna be like day two, day three. And actually, it wasn't wasn't too bad. It was my cooking. It was your cooking. Yeah. <laughs> You had more culinary school. Exactly. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you.